Hello everyone, I am Sudeshna of first year of B.Tech studying in Ace Engineering College. Today I am here to explain about multiplexer which is one of the concept of digital electronics. Multiplexer Multiplexer is shortly known as MUX. Multiplexer is a combinational circuit which contains two power and input lines and n selection lines and one single output line. These n selection lines helps the multiplexer to select one from the two power and input lines as output. Multiplexer is also known as digital switch or data selectors. Now, let us see the block diagram of multiplexer. This is the block diagram of multiplexer. It contains the two power and input lines and y one single output line which is indicated by using Y and these are the N selection lines. Now let us have the example of multiplexer. Design a 2 by 1 multiplexer. Now let us see the diag block diagram for this 2 by 1 multiplexer. Here the 2 means the number of input lines and one is the number of output lines and the block diagram con consists of two input lines now let us draw the block diagram for 2 by 1 max as it has two input lines draw the two input lines and one output line draw the one output line and it has one selection line as 2, two power n as 2 is equals to 2 then 2 power 1 that means n is 1 and these input lines are denoted as d0 and d1 and the selection lines is denoted by s and the output line is denoted by y the 2 by 1 function table for the marks will be like e here e is the enable input which is the main part of the marks and S is indicating the selection line and Y is the output. If E is 0, whatever may be the selection line, the output will be none. If E is 1, the selection line may be 0 or 1. Then the output will be D0 if selection line is 0 and D1 if the selection line is 1. This is the function table. See the logic diagram for the 2 by 1 multiplexer by using this function table. First draw two input lines and one selection line like this and after that from here if enable input is 1 we will draw the logic diagram diagram only when the enable input is 1. Here the selection is 0 that means it is s dash and here the selection line is 1 that means it is s. So I am connecting D0 with a NOT gate of S and by using the AND gate and S to the D1 by using the AND gate and finally these two AND gates are connected by using an OR gate. And here we get the final input of D0 and D1 and by using the selection line S. And we need to give an enable input to both the AND gates. This, this is the logic diagram for the 2 by 1 multiplexer. Let us design a 4 by 1 multiplexer. As 4 by 1 multiplexer, the, it will contain 4 input lines and as this, it will contain 1 output line. So now let us draw the block diagram as here the input lines are 4, draw the 4 input lines and denote them by using D. And it contains, it contains 2 selection lines and we are denoting them by using S0 and S1 and the output line will be Y. This is the block diagram for 4 by 1 multiplexer. Now let us look at the function table for 4 by 1 multiplexer. It has the enable input and two selection lines and the output line. 
let us give the enable input and the selection lines will be 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 this is when the enable input is 1 and the selection lines will be don't case when the enable input is 0 if the selection lines are 0 0 then the output will be d0 if the selection lines are 0 1 then the output will be d1 if the selection lines are 1 0 then the output will be d2 if 1 1 then the output will be d3 if we have the enable input 0 then the output will be 0 that means it does not have any output when enable input is 0 draw the logic diagram for 4 by 1 multiplexer by using the function table these are the four input lines and these are the two selection lines which also consist of NOT gate in them here for first one D0 it has both S0 of 0 and S1 of 0 that means we have connect to the which has NOT gate and these three should be connected by using an AND gate next d1 it has s0 of 0 and s1 of 1 s0 of 0 is this line and s0 s1 of 1 is this line and now these three are also connected by using an AND gate d2 has s0 of 1 and s1 of 0 that means s0 of 1 and d2 has s1 of 0 that means this line and these three are connected by using again an AND gate now let us check for d3 d3 has both s0 and s1 1 and again these three are connected by using an AND gate now, now finally all these four gates are connected by using an OR gate And here we get our output by using these input lines and selection lines. Design a 16 by 1 mux using 4 by 1 mux. For logic diagram for the 16 by 1 mux, first write the binary numbers for all the 16 members and denote them by using the inputs as d0, d1, d2, and etc. As we know that a 4 by 1 mux consists of 4 input lines and these are the same as the first 4. And check, if you check once, every time the 4 are repeating same. We have the 4 selection lines. Now let us go with second selection line which is denoted as S2. Here the first 4 are zeros. And the next four are ones. And again the same pattern is repeating here. The first four as zeros and the next four as ones. And last if you check for the S3 input line, S3 selection line, it has the first eight values as zeros and the next eight values as ones. From this diagram, now let us draw the logic diagram. This is the logic diagram for the 16 by 1 mux using 4 by 1 mux. Here if we check there are 4 mux including it. That means the two selection lines S0 and S1 are included inside this mux already. As we have seen earlier these 4 by 1 mux are, draw are used drawing 4 input lines and 2 selection lines. That's why the two selection lines include and the remaining two selection lines S2 and S3 are drawn here and they are connected to every diagram as we seen here. Here all the four marks are connected using an enable input which has given the value 1 that means it is working with the high power and all these four marks are connected together by using the another marks. As we know these are the four input lines for these marks and these gives us the final output 
and even the in enable input is connected to these marks because enable input is connected the same one to all the five marks because it works only when the enable input is one this is the 16 by 1 marks using 4 by 1 marks logic diagram this is what about the multiplexers i think you have understood it thank you